Look so worried. We're not gonna die. I promise you that. Next is PW zero one four zero eight. That's you. aptitude test please try to relax stage one inducing ash plague corruption ash plague corruption has been confirmed now progressing to stage two mounting god arc is complete. You are now an adaptive god-eater. So you survived. Grade A. Oh, I haven't seen your kind around here before. How does it feel to give up your humanity? <laughs> hey, don't go and croak on us, okay? Your life belongs to the port now. You're of no use, dead. Here, I'm gonna need you to sign this contract. Hey, you okay? You seem pretty out of it. Bad dream or something? Anyway, rise and shine. I went ahead and asked about our next job. It's in a pretty thick spot. Looks like there's not too much time left for you and me, huh? Fighting an ash this thick will ruin a body in no time. 
And if we can't work, well, I doubt the folks at the port will want to look after us. Eventually, we're either going to run out of the bias factor we need to live, or we'll end up as origami snacks or bait, and that'll be that. A time-honored end for ages like you and me. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen to us. I promise. After all, we've got too much riding on our shoulders. We'll keep going for the ones we couldn't save. It's a vow I made to them all. I'm never going to give up, no matter what happens. So, that's that. We are not dying. The two of us will keep moving forward onto whatever tomorrow brings.
Don't worry. Everyone made it back okay. A good result for us. We might do as the port folks want. Work ourselves to the bone. Get dragged to hell and back. But that doesn't mean we're willing to give up our lives without a good fight. A place where ages can live out their lives without being controlled or pushed around by anyone. That's what we need, right? Took the words right out of my mouth. Ouch! <laughs> the guards went to town on you this time, didn't they? Bet that hurts. You never do as you're told, huh? Bet it's hell getting teamed up with this guy. <laughs> I didn't know you were back from patrol, Zeke. Yep, that's right. All done with my work for today. Listen, man, next time you should come out with me. Come on. I thought you were smarter than that. Having a chance to work with the Zeke Pennyworth should be enough to make you weep for joy. <laughs> Maybe you should mention how good you are. <laughs> Hugo's always so by the book. It must have been boring out there with him. Come on, I'll show you a real cool trick next time. This isn't a sport, Zeke. Look, I know that. You think I don't know that? Anyway, did you hear the recent news? One of the other teams was saying that a port nearby got swallowed by the ash. That's the first I've heard of it. But it's not exactly news for ports to get engulfed by the Ashlands. Sure, it's no surprise when it's some base somewhere. But how will you feel when the ash is creeping closer and closer? Are you talking about an ash storm? Yeah, well, if one of those ash storms does come through, it's not like there's a whole lot we can do other than strap in and pray, right? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Though, even then, riding one out isn't all that realistic.
hope they can at least have some pleasant dreams to enjoy while they're sleeping. It gets so quiet at night. So, how's the new density level? <laughs> well, I guess knocking origami around is fun when you're in the moment. But if there are still survivors out there, well, then it was worth fighting. It's a small thing, but I don't want to sell my soul and lose my freedom to act according to my own will. I guess it seems kind of funny. We might die tomorrow and leave nothing behind. But I'll keep waiting. Someday, a path towards something new will open for us. An ash storm, huh? of your behavior. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> well, shall we get going? This is a caravan calling all agents. What's that? There's an accident developing in the area. It's an impact on Pennywood. An open channel? Who and where is that from? We can't make out what you're saying. What in... Huh?
That's definitely an ash storm. And it's definitely headed toward our port. Damn it. Talk about some bad timing. There's no way we can outrun it from here. But what about everyone at the port? What'll happen to the kids there? Calm down. We'll manage something. We're not going to stand by and let our friends get wiped out. This is a caravan calling all ages. I repeat, this is a caravan calling all ages. There is an ash storm developing. Ages here. What's the status of the storm? We read you. We'll talk later. For now, we need you to clear out the origami in our path. Why should we do that? I said we'll talk later. Now hurry up and do it. If it's your fee, we'll pay whatever the cost. We don't have time to negotiate. We're on our way to evacuate the port. Every second counts. Understood. Moving out. There are aged children at the port who will need help. You have to get them out of there. I promise you will get them out. Good luck out there. Caravan out. I guess this is our chance. Come on. Everything changes. Starting now. That's... intimidating. <laughs> right? Don't die on me now. We're going to live to see a new future. Everyone will. Destruction.
everyone who is left behind at the port is now under our care. Ricardo's information was spot on. It seems the ages who were left behind were all left inside a room like a prison. There were a number of young kids with them there too. It's awful. How could people have sunk so low? There. I've sent them the rendezvous coordinates. They're planning to meet up there. But are you sure it was a good idea? Offering to pay any price if they clear the way? Probably. They don't strike me as the kind who would trade their lives for cash. Pardon me, but that's... not much of a strategy, ma'am. I know that. Change heading 180 degrees. Get as far away as we can, now! It's an ash storm! Pleasure to meet all of you. Welcome to our caravan. This is the Ashcrawler Chrysanthemum. I'm her owner, Hilda Enriquez. We made it in time, thank goodness. I'm Hugo Pennywort. Handling that origami problem wouldn't have been an easy task, even under the best of circumstances. And that means you're a talented bunch. Would you mind filling all of us in on the situation here? That will come in due time. You've created a real opportunity for us to work with. Won't you let me express our gratitude? You saved our friends. That's enough for me. Yes. However, that is only a temporary measure, as I'm sure you're well aware. Huh? Reassigning ages requires the permission of both the governor of the port and Gleipnir. You do know that, do you not, Hugo? If that's the reason you can't keep us all here, don't worry about it. Being alive is what counts. But do you really have to be so formal? Ma'am, we've completed our survey of the port that was swallowed by the ash. Despite our efforts, we have been unable to establish the whereabouts of the port's management. I'm sure they fled. I saw ships moving away in the distance. Hmm. That would explain it. There were some ships that made unregistered departures. Fools. Leaving without notifying anyone. If the ash storm drags them in... That's what they get for leaving kids to die. Zeke, don't. What? You're gonna tell me you're not pissed at him, too? Regardless, it still doesn't make me happy. Ma'am, the ash density levels are rising again. Staying any longer would be hazardous. You now represent your port, Hugo. Under Ashland Navigation Law, I place you under my protection and transfer you to our port. Understood. Our services are yours during the voyage. In exchange, though, we don't want your everyday drudgery tasks. <laughs> You've got a spine. Very well. You can be our front runners and keep our route free from interference. That's fine by us. Once we're out there, you'll see we're not your run-of-the-mill ages.